Speculation continues on when the Israeli ground offensive will begin. The IDF says they will, quote, begin the next stage of this war at a time that is of their choosing and best for them operationally. Well, Michael Milshane, former Israeli military intelligence officer and head of the Palestinian Studies Forum at Tel Aviv University, joins me now. Michael, thank you for being with us. You've reportedly said thank that you, Israel thanks. has totally misunderstood Hamas. What did you mean by that? Yeah, you know, um, actually on the 7th of October at 6.30 in the morning, Israel actually uh, understood that for about two years and maybe even more than, ten, than two years, uh, it totally didn't understand the basic DNA or the ba basic logic of Hamas. For a, a lot of years, we used to uh, consider Hamas as a ruling party that really wished to focus more on economic and civil, uh, civil affairs and on how to improve the uh, situation of the people in Gaza. And uh, we also uh, assumed that Hamas is very much deterred uh, of, uh, of IDF. On, and on the 7th of, of October, we understood that we totally misunderstood uh, Hamas. Hamas, when this organization needs to prefer between the polar of assisting its own society and the polar of jihad, of you know, very tough and ongoing uh, conflict against Israel, uh, absolutely this organization prefers the, the jihad. And of course, this organization doesn't really care about the situation of its own people. And I do think that, you know, we in Israel we rely, rely, rely too much on, on the assumption that if you will improve uh, the situation in Gaza, you will give, for example, permits to workers or uh, all kinds of uh, positive economic moves, salaries and money and fuel, that will uh, make the, uh, the likelihood of escalation uh, uh, more limited. And we were wrong. You know, in Israel today, I think we, we, we found out that it is not only uh, misunderstanding Hamas, but actually misunderstanding the whole, the broad Palestinian arena. So what should Israel do right now? Is this military campaign the right tactic in your view? How do you get rid of an organization like Hamas? Well, uh, actually, James, the, the name of the game here is not tactic, but strategy. And the question is, uh, do we uh, promote the right, the right or the correct uh, strategy? And I do think that uh, if the, uh, the formal and the determined aim of Israel today is to erase uh, uh, the political and the military presence of uh, Hamas from Gaza. I think that this is uh, the right and the correct, uh, the correct uh, uh, aim to, to implement. Uh, the question is, are we realistic enough to understand that you cannot really vanish uh, Hamas? You cannot, you know, erase it because it's an idea. But if you will cause Hamas a very severe damage, if you will cause Hamas to, to stop uh, being a regime and maybe try to establish or assist to establish a new order in Gaza after the war, I mean, of course, so maybe it's, it's a good start. Uh, but right now, I think that any, anything, any thought about, uh, you know, limiting the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, conflict, or maybe not not to promote the ground maneuver. This, those are those, all those ideas are, are very wrong. And you know, here, James, in Israel, most of the public, not only the government, most of the public supports the government to promote a very broad and even radical move in Gaza because we understood two weeks ago that we cannot live with this monster anymore. We cannot live with this, uh, this tiger in the same room anymore. And it's about time to change things in the Palestinian arena. And maybe, maybe even the, the, the change in, the, in Gaza will, uh, will cause a positive change in the whole arena, in the whole region. Michael Milshane, thank you very much for your time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.